Since the leads on the, this particular resistor are, are pretty robust, I'm going to go ahead and use, uh, um, use those for my connections, and I'll wrap the leads of the ceramic power resistor around it. Okay, and since th this network is the input side of the high-pass filter, it's going to be connected to the input side of the crossover. Now, in this particular one, my lead is just a little bit short. Let's see if I can just slide that over a little bit. This is one reason I said don't solder stuff until you've got everything lined up. I'll just slide that guy off to one side and see that if I can get that in there without having to add any other wire. Okay, that now reaches. I've got enough overlap here that I can, I can solder those guys together. So we'll go ahead and glue the network down. That glue grabs pretty quick on wood. Okay. And since we're here, we'll just go ahead and we'll just solder those two guys together. And that's done. Let's go ahead and solder this guy. Done. Okay. So now we'll bend this lead forward and the next part of the circuit, this is the capacitor, this is for the high pass filter. And this guy is going to park right here, so I don't need quite all these leads. So I'll shorten that one there and shorten this guy about there. So I got some overlap. I'm going to take a little bit more off of that so we can slide it back, keep things neat. And we'll go ahead and park this capacitor here. This is the high pass crossover, so in this circuit, um, we have the capacitor in series, and we're going to have the coil in parallel with the speaker that uh, is the filter's load. So that's just backward from the low-pass side where we have the coil in series and then the capacitance in parallel with the speaker load. So the, uh, the smaller coil for the tweeter, plenty of, place, or plenty of room to mount it right there. So I'll pull the lead out the side and... We'll position this guy right here. I've got plenty of bare lead on the coil. Again, remember, you can't solder the insulation. So if your coil is covered with insulation, you need to clear that away. And we'll just wrap that guy around there. Positioning is, seems to be just fine on that. So I'll go ahead and glue that guy down. And I'm going to be lazy and leave a little extra lead here so I can wrap bare lead around this inductor or this output of the capacitor. And I'll trim off the extra there and gather those together. Okay, and we'll go back and we'll make our remaining solder connections. We'll start at the output end solder the coil there. We got the solder, the cap from the low pass, the coil from the high pass together, all to the negative side. I'm just going to keep running a whole bunch of solder into that because I want to make sure that that's a real good connection there. And that's pretty well filled with solder. Back here, I didn't wrap these leads together because they're pretty robust leads. And since they line up really good, I can get quite a bit of solder there. If you want to wrap these guys together, whatever you want to do, um, just be sure that once you solder them, that you don't have beaded, beaded solder on your connection. It all flows in. So we'll make our connection there between the two resistors. Same over here. I already completed the two solder connections here, already completed the solder connections on this end of the filter. We'll go ahead and make this solder connection here. 
at the output, the crossover capacitors, solder connection on this side, solder connection on this side, and we are done. Again, be sure to read your manual and decide which version of the speakers uh, that you want to build before you start laying out and uh, assembling your crossover because there are parts here that you're not going to need or some parts, uh, the values that you're going to have to change to match which version of the speaker system that you're going to um, have in the end. So thank you very much for your attention. Um, if you have any questions or problems while you're assembling this, before you start, after you start, whatever, please don't hesitate to give us a call here at Parts Express, and we'll keep you going in the right direction. Enjoy your new speakers. Over 15,000 products, free same-day shipping on most orders, 45-day no-hassle returns, and free tech support. PartsExpress.com, the number one source for audio, video, and speaker building components.